a sad day for our Fox family. Today we learn that Fox News journalist Pierre Zakreski and a 24-year-old member of his crew were killed yesterday when their vehicle came under fire just outside of Kyiv. That same attack injured Fox reporter Benjamin Hall. He remains hospitalized tonight. Marla Tays has been staying on top of all of this for us and joining us live from the newsroom now. Marla. Christine and Alex, the recent bombings resulting in deaths that hit all too close to home for our network. Well, we've got some very difficult news to share with you now. Fox News cameraman Pierre Shashevsky has died. Fox News anchor Bill Hemmer announcing the death of veteran network cameraman Pierre Zakshevsky, the 55-year-old killed in an attack outside the capital city of Kyiv Monday. He has been with us for years, covering wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and Syria. Also killed in the attack, the crew's 24-year-old producer, Alexandra Kushanova. The network reporting the Ukrainian journalist had been working with Zekshevsky and correspondent Benjamin Hall when their vehicle came under fire. Hall remains hospitalized. His condition is unknown. The news? devastating for colleagues. We will redouble our efforts to honor these colleagues and all reporters in harm's way tonight. Lauren Blanchard with us at noon from Poland reflecting on her time with the well-known photojournalist. He was a legend and he will be very missed. He made everybody a better journalist. Also reporting from the war zone, correspondent Jonathan Hunt. He's one of those people you will not find as hard as you look, wherever you look, anybody who has ever had a bad word to say about him. Their deaths come as Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky reports Russian forces have killed almost 100 children as shelling intensifies in and around the capital city. This Kiev apartment building bombed on the 20th day of war. At least four people were killed. The mayor says his city is standing strong. We defend our children, family, our buildings, our city, and our future. Now, Kiev under fire comes as, as the port city of Maripol has been enduring a seemingly constant bombardment. Today, an estimated 20,000 people reportedly fled Maripol through a humanitarian corridor.